Have you ever pondered how rapidly our world population is growing? It's a thought that might seem overwhelming at first. After all, there are over 7 billion of us sharing this planet, and that number is only increasing. But what does this mean for our world and for us as inhabitants of it? This is a topic of great significance, and it's worth our attention. The world population has been growing at an exponential rate, a trend that has been consistent throughout history. And yet it's not something we often think about in our day-to-day -day lives. It's like a silent explosion happening right under our noses. When we look back at the annals of history, we can see a clear trajectory of population growth. There was a time when the entire world population was less than a million huddled up in small communities, struggling to survive. As we learned to cultivate the land and harness the resources around us, our numbers began to swell. From the advent of agriculture to the Industrial Revolution, each leap forward in human civilization has propelled our numbers higher and higher. But what factors contribute to this phenomenon? What drives this relentless growth? The answer lies in a combination of factors. Advances in medicine have led to lower mortality rates, allowing more of us to live longer lives. Technological innovations have made it possible to sustain larger populations, providing the food, water and shelter needed to support billions of lives. Yet this growth is not without its implications. As our numbers increase, so does the demand for resources. More people means more mouths to feed, more homes to build, more waste to manage. And all this puts an immense strain on our planet. So the question becomes, how do we manage this growth? How do we ensure a sustainable future for all of us, even as our numbers continue to rise? Now let's take a journey through time and see how the world population has grown. To comprehend the enormity of our situation, we need to journey back in time. Imagine, if you will, the dawn of humanity about 200,000 years ago. The world's population was a mere few thousand, scattered across the globe. It took nearly 140,000 years for us to reach the one million mark. Fast forward to around 10,000 BC, with the advent of agriculture, we see the first significant spike in population growth. The ability to grow food rather than hunt or gather allowed communities to settle and expand. By the time of the first millennia AD, we were a global family of around 200 million. The next major milestone on our population timeline was the Industrial Revolution, which started in the late 1700s. This period brought about technological advancements that improved living conditions and medical care, leading to a decrease in mortality rates. By the end of the 19th century, the global population had surpassed 1 billion. In the 20th century, the advent of modern medicine, such as antibiotics and vaccines, led to a further decrease in mortality rates. Combine this with improvements in agriculture and food production, and we see an exponential increase in population growth. The global population doubled from 2.5 billion in the 1950s to 5 billion by the late 1980s. The speed at which our population has grown in the last century is unprecedented. In less than a hundred years, we've added over five billion people to our global family. That's more than the total population growth over the previous 200,000 years. This rapid population growth is not just a statistic, it's a reality that impacts every aspect of our lives, from the environment to the economy, from societal structures to individual lives. Now that we've seen the timeline, let's delve into the reasons behind this rapid growth. What factors have contributed to this rapid growth in population? This question demands our attention as we navigate the narrative of our world's population surge. The factors are multifaceted and intertwined, but let's try to untangle them to understand the bigger picture. One of the most significant contributors to this population boom is advancements in healthcare. Over the past century, we've made leaps and bounds in medical science. Vaccinations, antibiotics and improved hygiene practices have drastically reduced the incidence of life-threatening diseases. As a result, we've seen a marked increase in life expectancy worldwide. People are living longer, healthier lives, and this is a significant factor in our growing population. Alongside this, we've also seen a dramatic decline in mortality rates, particularly in infant and child mortality. 
Improved birthing techniques, neonatal care, and child health care have meant that more children are surviving to adulthood. In the past, families would have many children in the hope that some would survive. Now, with a higher certainty of survival, we've seen a shift in family planning. But this change is yet to catch up with the rate of population growth. Increased birth rates also play a pivotal role. In many parts of the world, high fertility rates are prevalent due to societal and cultural norms. The desire for large families, the value placed on children for labour, and lack of access to or acceptance of family planning methods contribute to a higher number of births. And let's not forget the role of technological advancements. From improvements in agricultural techniques, ensuring food security, to advances in communication technology, connecting us globally, technology has indirectly fueled population growth by creating environments conducive to survival and prosperity. In essence, advancements in healthcare, decline in mortality rates, increased birth rates, and technological progress have all played their part in driving this population explosion. Each factor, in its own way, has contributed to the intricate tapestry of our rapidly growing global family. These factors have led to a population boom, but what does this mean for our future? That's a question we'll explore in the next segment. The rapidly growing population presents a complex conundrum for our future. As we move forward, it's essential to understand the implications of this growth on various aspects of our world. Let's first consider resources. It's no secret that the Earth's resources are finite. As the population grows, the demand for these resources increases. Water, food and energy, things we often take for granted, are becoming increasingly scarce. The strain on these resources could lead to conflicts and geopolitical instability if not addressed proactively. Next, let's talk about the environment. Human activities fueled by population growth are causing significant environmental changes. Deforestation, loss of biodiversity and climate change are just a few examples. The rapid population growth exacerbates these issues, pushing our planet's ecosystems to their limits. It's a cycle that feeds on itself. More people mean more consumption, and more consumption means more environmental degradation. Finally, we must discuss the socio-economic aspects. Overpopulation can lead to overcrowded cities, straining infrastructure and public services. It can exacerbate social issues such as poverty, unemployment and inequality. With more people competing for limited opportunities, social tensions could rise. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rapid population growth can also mean a larger workforce, more consumers and potentially more innovation. It's a double-edged sword that requires careful management. As we grapple with these challenges, it's important to remember that population growth is not just a number game. It's about people, their lives and their futures. It's about how we, as a global community, can ensure a sustainable and equitable future for all. The challenges are indeed daunting, but are there any solutions? Facing such challenges, we must ask, what can we do to mitigate the effects of overpopulation? In our quest for solutions, we find that family planning holds a pivotal role. By promoting the responsible planning of family size and birth spacing, we can ensure each child is wanted, loved and provided for. This conscious approach not only aids in curbing population growth, but also uplifts the quality of life for families worldwide. But the issue of overpopulation doesn't stop at family planning. It extends to the very roots of our existence, our planet. This is where sustainable development steps in. By striving for a balance between economic growth and the preservation of our environment, we can create a world where progress doesn't come at the cost of our natural resources. This harmony between man and nature is crucial in ensuring that our planet can sustain its burgeoning populace. And then, there's the magic of technological innovation. Through advancements in sectors like agriculture, healthcare and renewable energy, we can support our growing numbers more effectively. Technology has the potential to increase food production, improve health outcomes and harness energy in more sustainable ways, all essential aspects in managing a larger population. However, these solutions aren't isolated answers. They're interconnected pieces of a larger puzzle. And that puzzle can only be solved through global cooperation. As nations and as individuals, we must realize that the issue of overpopulation is a shared problem. 
It transcends borders and cultures, and thus the solutions must also be shared. We need to pool our resources, knowledge and efforts to tackle this global challenge. While the solutions are not easy, they are necessary for a sustainable future. It is our collective responsibility to address the challenges of a rapidly growing population.